Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video. I do have some fall recipes for you guys with Thanksgiving right around the corner. I thought that I would go ahead and share these delicious recipes with you guys. We're gonna be making two savory recipes and two sweet recipes. So the first recipe we're gonna start off with is a white chicken chili, which we are gonna be making in the crock pot, which is a nice, easy recipe to do a little quick dump and go. So you can leave this all set up before you head out to work or wherever it is that you are needing to head out to. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this white chicken chili, the first thing you're gonna need is some chicken breast. So I have a whole chicken breast which is two pieces we're going to dump that straight in and then we're also going to be using some black beans you can use whatever beans you prefer and then you're also going to use some tomatoes um, you can use canned tomatoes like rotel um, i don't use them i like to just dice up my own roma tomatoes i went ahead and diced up two roma tomatoes and then you also need some corn and then you'll need one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of chili powder and then you'll use an entire pack of this ranch seasoning and then the last thing you'll need is one block of cream cheese I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mix everything a little bit before I put in that block of cream cheese this is such a nice recipe because like I mentioned, it's a quick dump and go recipe. So you can definitely do this ahead of time. And then you'll be able to cook this either on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this on high for four hours. chili is done and we're gonna go ahead and try this together I did top it with some Monterey Jack cheese okay. so look at that look, look, look. Mm. Mm. oh my god it literally tastes like chili but with chicken Mmm. Mmm. Plate is hot. So delicious. I love it because it's such an easy recipe and it's so delicious. Full of so much flavor. I hope that you guys give this one a try as well. We're going to go ahead and move on to our second dish, which is a roasted butternut squash pasta and i'm so excited for this pasta i've actually never tried it but the recipe just sounds so delicious so i hope that you guys give this a try so you will choose uh, the pasta of your liking i think the recipe calls for bow type but i like penne so we're using penne pasta three garlic cloves half a cup of parmesan cheese a cup of spinach some salt and pepper avocado oil butternut squash bacon and one cup of heavy cream. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I'm gonna prep the butternut squash. So the way you prep it is you're gonna peel it, seed it, and then cut it into small cubes. And then we're gonna put them in the oven. So we definitely start the oven before you get this started. That way your oven is ready once your butternut is all prepped.
Okay, so once your butternut squash is chopped up in about small bite-sized chunks, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use either olive oil or avocado oil. We use avocado oil, so that's just what I'm gonna use. Drizzle some of that on there, and then I'm gonna drizzle about a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mix. So once every piece is coated, we're gonna go ahead and put it on a baking sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and line this up with parchment paper. So you just wanna make sure they're all kind of spread out so that they can roast really well. And we're gonna roast them for about 30 minutes. So while we have the butternut squash roasting, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the pasta or at least get the um, water boiling. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop up the bacon. Okay, so the bacon is all cooked. And now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the three garlics. And then I did leave some of the bacon grease in the pan and we're gonna use that to saute the garlic and the spinach. So while that's sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the pasta and cook it as the box says, which I think it's like nine to 11 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and mix the pasta with this cream sauce first, because then we're just gonna wanna toss in the squash and bacon. And let me tell you guys, this smells so good. I really do hope you guys try this. Okay, so that's perfect. And then the bacon and butternut squash is here. So now that the pasta is done, I'm gonna go ahead and try it with you guys on camera. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. Let's see here. Let's see if you guys can see. Okay. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't know why I've never made this before, but the creaminess, the sweetness of the squash, the saltiness of the bacon, it just blends so well together. Mm. Let me tell you guys. You need to make this Today. If you don't know what you're making for dinner tonight, this is what you're making. Super easy. You can even get the squash already pre-cut if you don't even want to do that, but mm, 
Hey guys, so it's a few days later, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that I finished this recipe for you guys. So the first thing we're working on is our pumpkin spice bread, and these are the ingredients that you're going to need. So for the pumpkin spice streusel, you're gonna need one fourth cup of unsalted butter melted, half cup of all purpose flour, one fourth cup of brown sugar packed, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. And for the pumpkin bread, you're gonna need one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of brown sugar packed, half a cup of vegetable oil, two large eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of milk, one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. So now we're starting on our pumpkin spice arroz con leche. You're gonna need one tablespoon of pumpkin spice, one can of pumpkin puree, four cups of water, two cups of milk, one can of evaporated milk, one lechera, one cinnamon stick, and two cups of rice. Once you've gathered all of your ingredients, you're gonna wanna go ahead and wash the rice. And you wanna wash uh, the rice until the water runs clear, and then your rice is gonna be good to go. Once your rice has been washed, you're gonna go ahead and put it into your pot and you're gonna go ahead and add your four cups of water and your cinnamon stick. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and boil that until the rice is almost cooked. So once your rice is almost cooked all the way through, you're gonna go ahead and want to add your milks. So you're gonna add your two cups of milk, you'll add your evaporated milk, and then you'll go ahead and add your condensed milk. You'll give that a good stir, and then you'll wanna go ahead and add your pumpkin puree and mix that in very well and then you'll add your pumpkin spice seasoning and you'll let that simmer down for about 
15 to 20. All right, guys, so if you have made it this far, thank you, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate all of your love and support, but the desserts are finally done. And we are gonna go ahead and start off with the pumpkin spice arroz con leche. And I'm just gonna see if I can get a little close up for you guys. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but. And I'm gonna try this with you guys on camera. Honestly, it smells so, so delicious. It just smells like a cozy, cold fall night, but okay. Here we go. It's really good. It tastes very creamy. Um, it's thicker than normal, but it's delicious. I really like it because it's not as sweet. I think with the pumpkin puree, um, most Almost all of the recipes called for me to add more sugar, but for me, doing the um, lechera is more than enough. But when it's arroz con leche, like regular one, it tends to be sweeter, but this time around it's actually a little bit less sweeter, and I think it's because of that pumpkin puree. But it's so, so delicious. I hope that you guys give this recipe a try. All right, guys, here is the star of the show. Look how beautiful it looks. And let me tell you, it smells divine. Mm, smells so, so good. But let's go ahead and cut this and try it. Okay, so here it is. Now do a little quick taste test for you guys. Mm. Mm. So good. I have to have another bite. Mm, 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 mm. You guys have to try this recipe. You have to try this recipe. So delicious, so, so delicious. All right guys, there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed these four delicious recipes and I hope that you guys give them a try. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video and I will see you guys next week.